everybody welcome back to the channel time to let you guys know what's been going on with Robbie's car the last time we had a video out on it we figured out all the running issues and I went and took it for a test drive and under heavy throttle we had antifreeze spray up on the windshield and then at the end of the video I said eh, it's probably something minor no big deal and all we have is just a uh, a yeah, slight leak and that should be a uh, pretty minor to uh, take care of well turns out it's not a no big deal it's actually quite a big deal uh, we have cylinder pressure making its way out of the combustion chamber and pushing its way into our coolant system which means our head gasket is not holding up now we've built Robbie's G23 the exact same way that what I know as the very first documented G23 VTEC build done in either a Super Street magazine or a Street Tuner magazine or something back in the mid-early 2000s, which had a dyno sheets, part-by-part uh, -part list, everything that you needed to know in order to uh, put this motor together and have it work. And uh, that builder had used the H22 A4 head gasket, and that's the head gasket that we've been using on this build if you guys have been following this build for any length of time you know that we've gone through a lot of trial and error on getting this h22 a4 gasket to properly work on the g23 vtec build i'm pretty sure if i'm to address what i believe our head gasket failure is being caused by that we can still use the h22 a4 gasket and uh, run our engine the way that we've built it so far However, my friends Luis and Chris up in Phoenix, between the two of them, they figured out the guaranteed recipe on uh, building these G23 VTEC engines. They've been building them with far less issues than we've been having down here. They're pumping out 600 plus horsepower. With little to no issues. And because of the success that they've had with the way they've built theirs, Robbie and I have decided we are going to ditch the setup that we've been running and we're going to start our build over completely from scratch. So I hit up Luis to uh, trade him a favor for help with our build. And he came all the way down from Phoenix, picked up our head, and he picked up our block. So a big shout out to Luis and Chris for your guys' help with our build. And um, while they have our block and our head, and they are working their combined skilled magic for our engine I'm going to be covering the ins and the outs and the do's and the don'ts of the G23 VTEC engine so I'll start off by saying this motor is not a difficult motor to build but at the same time it's also not just a walk through the park meaning this isn't just an engine that you can just simply just slap together with a few parts and fire it up and have it good to go. There are custom things that you will need to do in order to make all of this work. So let's just go over all the basics to start. So we'll start off by discussing the timing. You're going to want to run all your timing components based on the head that you're going to be running on your G build. We are going to be using the H22 dual overhead cam VTEC head, which means we're going to want to use all of the timing components for the H22. So down below on our timing sprocket, we have the crankshaft timing gear for an H22. We are using the F23 tensioner. We are using the H22 timing belt. And our water pump over here is a hybrid setup. You have two options here. This one here is an F23 water pump that we pulled the F23 timing gear 
off of the pump and pressed on the H22 water pump gear to create an F23 slash H22 water pump or K-Tuned offers an already off the shelf uh, unit that you can just bolt straight on that's ready to go but I believe that thing cost about like 200 bucks so that's the first of the things that you'll need to know when you're going to be running this setup next thing we need to cover is the water coolant tube that runs from the back of the block and to your thermostat housing you can't use just the h22 to the f series engine because the tube from the f series is a smaller diameter and vice versa you can't use the f series water tube on the h22's thermostat housing here so you need to create your own water tube made out of both water tubes combined so this one here we've got part of our h22's water uh, water tube welded to the f series water tube down here all right so so far h22 head h22 timing stuff a hybrid pump made with an f23 pump and an h22 pump gear and a hybrid water tube feeder pipe made from the f23 pipe conjoined with the h22 pipe next we were we're going to cover the number one most important thing about this build and that is the head gasket that you guys are going to want to run first thing we need to know about our head gaskets is that the only options that we have out there are multi-layer steel gaskets and the multi-layer steel gaskets require a perfect finish and a perfect surface so start off by making sure that 100 percent you guys have a straight deck surface for your block and a straight surface for your head because if your measurements are even one thousandth out of tolerance of what they say you can run you'll never get a head gasket to seal properly and that is what i believe the issue is with our block that we have here that we've got just a very minimum amount of warpage which is allowing us to still have compression holding in our cylinders but once it's under high load it's escaping into our combustion chamber or escaping into our coolant chamber here you know causing our blowout all right next we're going to want to choose the head gasket that we're going to want to run on this build we have two options on the head gaskets that we can use one is the h22 a4 head gasket and the other is the f23 head gasket each one of those gaskets depending on which one you want to choose is going to require some custom modifications to either your block or your head to make those work now we have already solved here at woodstocks all the different issues on uh, using the h22 a4 head gasket so if you guys want to continue along and with the stubborn path that we've been on you know we reworked all our drains to more match the h22 head gasket and then on the f blocks drain on the front closest to our timing we had to fill in this corner here so that our head gasket wouldn't have a little bit of seepage coming off into that corner there obviously the head with the h22 gasket is going to match up perfectly for the head and at that point all you will need to do to your head is to uh, block off your two oil drains uh, the closest to your timing side in the head two options on how you can achieve that one is the route that we went with the uh, k-tuned uh, plugs that you can pop into the head some people have a uh, mixed re uh, results using those plugs so that's uh, going to be a decision that you're going to want to make yourself the other option is to have the oil drains on the head welded shut completely and then have your surface uh, remachined so that everything is perfectly surfaced for your gasket and to match your block with your head and all of that should work now we're going to be ditching this setup completely and going the route with the f23 gasket so that we will not need to modify a single thing 
on the block because the F23 gasket belongs to the F23 block. And with the cylinder head, if you want to be assured that there will be no gasket issues whatsoever, you're going to want to have not only the two oil drains on the head closest to your timing welded shut, but I have every single one of your oil drains on that head um, welded in to uh, match the oil drains and the ports on the F series block and the F23 gasket that you're going to be using. That way you're not trying to Mickey Mouse things with a RTV sealant, Honda Bond, whatever it is that you guys want to try to use to slightly fill in a uh, tight corner or two that's kind of questionable on the uh, fitment of the F23 gasket to the H22 head. Once you pick which option on the head gasket that and route that you want to go with your build, I also highly suggest getting yourself a set of ARP studs to uh, bolt your head down to the block just to uh, eliminate the possibility of uh, having anything taken off too much of your block or your head and the uh, stock head bolts not being able to put down the proper clamping force to properly seal your uh, head gasket to your block. Last thing I have to cover for you guys on the build is your piston options and the piston orientation of the direction that you need them facing in your build. Uh, if you don't plan on pumping a bunch of power at this engine and you're going to be leaving it in a you leave the low compression, you know, stock F23 pistons in there, keep them with the timing arrows facing towards your timing belt. All Honda engines uh, slightly offset the wrist pin on their pistons slightly slightly forward on uh, their setups. We're running K20A2 RSX Type S pistons, which have the 11 to 1 compression height domes. And because they are a K-series piston, which are usually in an engine that's on this side of our car and spins the opposite direction of the way that our engines spin that are on this side of the car, the wrist pins are placed forward on those as well. But due to the orientation of our engines, if you run a factory type K-series piston, you're going to want to flip them backwards meaning you'll see this timing arrow on all your pistons you're going to want to point it towards the clutch system instead of towards your timing setup um, now what i've been told about forged uh, aftermarket pistons things like a uh, weissco mali cp and stuff they do not offset their wrist pins on their pistons. They are a perfect centered uh, piston placement and you can orient your pistons in any direction that you choose. That pretty much covers, you know, everything that you need to know about the G23 VTEC build. Not too difficult, you know, to build, but also not a complete walk in the park. I highly suggest not going the route that we first went, you know, trying to use the H22 gasket. Have your guys' head completely matched up to run the F23 gasket. That way you can be reassured that you will have no issues with the head gaskets. That is the route that uh, Robbie and I are going to be going with on this build for one last go around. While uh, Chris and Luis are working their magic on matching up a uh, F23 head gasket to our H22 head. Robbie and I need to get new bearings, new piston rings, a gasket set, and an OEM F23 gasket. Once we have all those parts in our hands and available to us, we'll be able to uh, throw this motor together one last time. We'll do it all on one final video so you guys can see the build happen and a final successful test drive in Robbie's car. And that's uh, going to do it for today, guys. Uh, thank you all for being a part of the team here at Woodstocks. If you're new and you want to follow the build, if this helped you out, please uh, do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button below and join the team. Uh, and you know the rest. Like, share, 
comment, and until next time, peace out.